Hey, this is James Bradbury with Motor1.com taking a look at the infotainment system in this 2016 GMC Terrain Denali. For a vehicle that's been on the market since 2009, GM has done a commendable job of keeping the terrain up to date in terms of tech. Smartphone integration is mostly pain-free. The included IntelliLink applications make it easy to get weather info or look up movie times in your area. And this top-of-the-line Denali model comes with 4G Wi-Fi through AT&T and sensors to warn you if you're following another car too closely or weaving in and out of your lane. The aforementioned Wi-Fi works well. I couldn't find a way to access the network info without going through a couple voice prompts. OnStar. OnStar ready. Wi-Fi settings. Wi-Fi settings. Please see the owner's manual for information about your Wi-Fi hotspot settings. But once you're connected, the performance is respectable. More than respectable, actually. I ran a few speed tests hooked directly into AT&T's network with my phone and repeated them through the in-car Wi-Fi in otherwise identical conditions. In the closest test, the terrain still handily beat my phone, showing download speeds more than twice as fast. Unfortunately, the terrain can't hide its age all the time, and trying to plug a smartphone in via USB gives you this error message if the smartphone isn't housing a music library. The system still functions as speakers for your phone, but only until you hit OK. This is a pretty egregious glitch, considering the popularity of music streaming services these days. Bluetooth is an acceptable workaround for shorter trips, but that's a big battery hog, and if you plug your phone in while it's on Bluetooth, you get the same error message. Overall, the Terrain's technology package is mostly respectable, f a bit dated, but we look forward to seeing what GM does with the inevitable replacement. This has been James Bradbury with Motor1.com. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and give us a like if you'd like to see more content like this.